Hi, it's Tuesday afternoon. Uh, normally today I'd be staying late. Uh, would have been our uh, board of directors meeting. Um, we meet uh, every month. And uh, due to the COVID-19 situation, we've curtailed uh, any unnecessary meetings. So uh, I'll get out of work here just a little bit earlier tonight. Uh, my cube is starting to look more uh, like a um, stockpile of sorts. Uh, we've got some uh, extra supplies uh, that uh, are getting stored in my office. We'll be your tour guides today for the decon of this lovely vehicle that will be our chariot for the day. Wipe down all surfaces that potentially could hold any spores, which pretty much is everywhere. So we do walls, we do benches, we do cabinets. We do it all. One stop shop for cleaning. They're hands on, they're wiping down things. And uh, that's good, but we want to be better than good. Uh, following the morning ritual, deconning inside. Getting the trucks cleaned outside. In general, um, the feeling is people are just afraid to go to the hospital. Uh, so uh, the call volume has dropped off. Uh, those people who, um, uh, you know, sometimes use EMS as a taxi cab to get to the hospital have uh, stopped calling. But the patients we are seeing uh, seem to be more sick. Busy day outside the ER at York Hospital. Trucks are lined up and the tents uh, for evaluations of patients coming in uh, with uh, COVID-19 symptoms. The saga continues. As far as patient care, it's a little more difficult. Uh, it's uh, a lot more suspicious. Dispatchers now with the COVID-19 are looking for priority symptoms. So a fever, uh, you know, with a dry cough, those type of things. Anybody with priority symptoms, now they're uh, using the N95 mask that we've heard a lot about. Right now, um, all of our personnel are issued an N95 mask. Uh, they're told uh, to hold on to that mask uh, unless it becomes uh, physically damaged, that it's not usable or obviously soiled. Uh, that, that's the only choice we have. Beyond that, if we were switching out with every patient, um, we'd probably make it the next 30 days. That's a, be about, uh, about it. The outside pre-screening area at Wellspan York, all patients uh, presenting with uh, symptoms of COVID-19 go through a pre-screening before they're uh, taken inside into the main emergency room. We don't believe at this point any of our members have had uh, contact or exposure to uh, a COVID-19 patient. We're always waiting to find out uh, if there's somebody that we saw you know, a week or two weeks ago that uh, comes back and test positive. We come in, we have to take our vital signs to make sure we are fit for duty and not having any cough or any symptoms of the corona or COVID-19. And then once we're done that, we will proceed to decon the entire truck, even though the overnight crew probably did it as well, but better safe than sorry. We're always concerned, and that's what makes the job of the EMS provider so much more difficult. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns. Um, you know, if you're a police officer, you, you see a gun, you see a threat. Uh, if you're a firefighter, there's smoke, there's fire. You know what you have to protect yourself against. Uh, with EMS, that, that's not really visible. That's always in the back of your head that at some point you're going to get sick uh, or you're going to be exposed to something that you don't want to. Hopefully this helps understand that the more people stay at home, the safer they are and the safer we are to get out of our job and get home to our loved ones at the end of the shift safely and clean and not contaminated. 
when we start talking about essential personnel, we're the epitome of essential. Um, we, we can't shut down, um, regardless of what it is, pandemic, uh, snowstorms, you know, um, we, you can't just take the day off because uh, we, we have to perform. The biggest thing that you can do is nothing. <laughs> Stay at home. Uh, don't venture out as uncomfortable as that is. That's what's going to help slow this process down. We're trying to stop that surge. It's that surge that will overwhelm the medical community.